Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna check out AS Rock 13 GPU mining rig called H110, and we're gonna check it out how to install GPUs on it. And we're gonna see some mining results, how easy it is to set up. Before we start, I want to thank our sponsors for today's video, Market.Space. It's a platform and a network where you can upload files to a decentralized system to store it and share it online with everybody. It actually lower prices compared to other services that will share and load your files and save them. And it gives an opportunity for everybody and companies to have a very low cost file sharing and file hosting service. Now they're backed by RapidGator. It's already a big company, you can check it out. They're one of the biggest hosting companies in Japan right now and they've been in business for already eight years. So this is definitely something that's working and they're having an ICO token sale right now. For today's setup, we have the motherboard itself. We have a 1080 here by Asus GPU. We have the cheapest seven generations CPU by Intel. We have a basic four gigabyte or eight gigabyte RAM DDR4. Also a simple SSD to run the system. We have a 600 watt power supply by EVGA. So as you can see, it comes with the IO protector. We have some SATA cables a manual with a big Bitcoin sign on it, that's cool. And it has a CD also with some drivers inside the manual. We might need to use that. And we also have the motherboard itself. So here's the motherboard. As you can see, we have 13 different PCI Express uh, connections with a full PCI 16X connection right here. This is what we're gonna test out the 1080 uh, GPU. Here you have an LGA1151 slot for the CPU. I can tell that the capacitors are well designed and well made so then you can mine for a very long time and the motherboard is not going to give out. It has a standard uh, power port here, it has an 8 pin for the CPU. We have two USB 3.0 and we have four USB 2.0, regular standard audio out. We have a network port, we have a DVI connection here and we have an old school mouse connection here. And yeah, pretty basic, no HDMI connection, nothing special. It will work for gaming if you want to game on it for some reason, but this is a dedicated motherboard for mining. It's really not designed for anything else. As you can see, there's only one PCI full-size connection. So, you know, you cannot do any SLI or have two video cards uh, for video games. If you want to run video games on this, it's only going to be one GPU. And, but you can see here, there's a bunch of PCI Express connections for all the video cards you might need for to do mining or even for deep learning and stuff like that too. You can do that as well. We have two ports here for the uh, RAM. What I have here is a motherboard plate, which means it's just a piece of plastic with some screws to, to raise up the motherboard and uh, it fits perfectly with this motherboard. So I'm gonna use that to put everything on top of it. So you don't really need to use a PC case for this. Uh, because it's an open airframe and we're gonna install one GPU on here and see the results. There are preset holes for the motherboard on this already. You can actually buy this plate from bitcoinmerch.com if you ever wanna do an open case frame for either mining or to do some testing. I use it for testing. So I'm just screwing in the motherboard here. I'm gonna use all the screws because I want it to not move around in case I move it or install devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and install all the screws. While I was installing the screws, I found out there is an M.2 uh, PCI here for SATA and you can actually install different M SATA, M.2 SATA here and you might be able to add one additional GPU with an adapter. With this adapter, as you can see, you can actually use that slot to add another USB razor. So all you have to do is install it right here with one screw right there. And now you can add the 14th GPU to this to this motherboard. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the CPU. This is the cheapest seventh generation LGA1151 uh, CPU. You don't really need to spend a lot of money on those and mining on CPUs are not really very profitable right now. It comes with a little plastic protection. It's very standard to protect the pins because if the pins get damaged, uh, the computer is not gonna work. So you have to take that out. Now we're gonna install the CPU in place and close it back down. 
It's just a click and turn kind of thing. That's how Intel's does it. It's really easy actually. Some of them are more uh, harder to install. Some heat sinks you have to actually take apart the back uh, and uh, it can be really difficult to install it. So this is really easy, just click and that's it. Just don't forget to also plug in the CPU fan. The computer will not turn on without the CPU fan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install one stick of RAM. I get a lot of comments about how I install my RAM in the wrong place and stuff. To be honest with you, this is not a gaming rig, this is a mining rig, so I don't think it really matters. But I do know that if you have a dual channel motherboard, you have to put the right place, uh, this, the RAM in the right place. So right now I only have one stick, so I'm just gonna put it in bay A1, and that'll be sufficient. Next step is to install the SSD. It doesn't really matter which SSD you use. Uh, this is a 240 gigabyte my testing bench one, but I do recommend to get a 60 gigabyte or whatever. Just one that is reliable and uh, good price, so your profits go up. So just use whatever SSD you have. That's what I have, and that's what I'm gonna use. You see here the SSD, and I'm just gonna screw it in to the back, and two screws will be enough. Here is the power supply. Now it's time to install it. Make sure the CPU has power, the GPU, the motherboard, and the SSD. We're gonna plug in some power to the SSD. We have, of course, the motherboard power. Now we're gonna plug the power to the CPU with the 4 plus 4 connection. Now it's time to install our GPU. This is a 1080 by Asus, just to test it out. And all we have to do is plug it in through the PCI connection and give it some power. Now, when you are mining, you're actually gonna use those little ones. You're gonna use the PCI Express little ones. And you're gonna plug in the Razer USB to each one, up to 13 of them. And, but you can plug in one traditionally. But if you do that, you block in some of the, see you cannot plug into this one. So it's not really recommended to use it this way. I'm just doing it to do the benchmark. Eventually, you're only gonna use razors for all of them. But one of them, you can actually plug in a full size uh, GPU right on the motherboard. All right, that's it. Now the GPU has power, everything has power. And now all we have to do is turn it on. I do have a button on the motherboard, so I don't even have to connect the plug in a connector for the power. I can power it up directly from the motherboard. Thank you, AS Rock. It's a nice touch that you added on a little button for me to turn it on, so I don't have to, you know, mess with the connections. You know, you don't really need a PC case to run this. So I have a power plug right here. Let's give it a try. Oh, yep, it turns on. Now I'm gonna let it boot with the new windows. I'm gonna plug in a network cable so I can remotely access it. And together we're gonna to do some benchmarks on this 1080 with the motherboard. Here is my naked setup, and <laughs> naked, of the miner. As you can see, everything is set up and connected and working perfectly. I did use the USB at the end uh, for the windows. Yes, you can do that. You can use a USB. Uh, you see that white little thing right there? That's a USB that runs the windows on this computer. Um, when you are doing mining, you don't really need some, you don't have to use SSD, even though I might recommend it because it might last uh, longer than a, a USB like this. But yeah, it works fine. Um, as you can see here, you see the Asus 1080 installed. Uh, I'm gonna run some drivers in there and do some benchmarks. So now we're all done with the installation of the windows on the new motherboard. It was fast and easy. You can see there's many, many PCI Express ports in the device manager. I can see them all and some opportunity to add a few more to an additional. So let's go ahead and click start. I already did the benchmarking. The most efficient algorithm is Equahash, which is 501 hashes, and that's about a dollar something, dollar eighty per day. If you go to benchmark, you can see all the hashing power for each algorithm, and you can see all of them, and also how much profit uh, you gonna make per day that's it guys as you can see it's very easy to set it up and have up to 13 or even 14 graphics card install all together on a fairly inexpensive setup don't forget to check out our sponsor for today's video market.space they have an amazing service where you can upload the files and this in a decentralized way using the blockchain and share files with other people if you're a company or if you're a private person you can upload those files online and use their tokens Check him out in the link below.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you liked the video, click like. If you didn't, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments what should be my next video. What kind of equipment should I test out? I did heard about ASIC miners coming up and being pretty powerful compared to GPUs. Let me know if you want to talk about that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.